What's up, folks? This is Anar speaking to you live, and I have a little video for you guys explaining why I am not playing Fortnite or PUBG. There's a reason why I'm not playing Fortnite or PUBG. It's not because I hate the games, no, I just feel that, um, in a sense, I feel that um, way too many people play them and way too many people make videos out of them. And to be honest, I also feel that I would probably suck at these games. And don't get me wrong, I play games that I'm not good at. Like, look, like, look at this, me playing Rainbow, Siege, uh, Rainbow Six Siege. I'm not good at the game though, but hey, I enjoy playing it and I want to get good at it. It's, it's not about getting good is just I, I feel that um, I'll get slightly frustrated playing the game all the time and most likely um, dying and then switching to another game and dying switching to another game I feel that that's pretty repetitive but also other reason why I don't want to play those two games is because those two games are slightly unappealing to me um, one of them being PUBG so far I heard a lot of good things about PUBG and people telling me hey you should try PUBG you should play PUBG PUBG is cool and to be honest it does look like a lot of fun and it does look pretty chaotic and I actually do enjoy that kind of um chaotic um, free-for-all kind of thing though but the thing is that um, I've been hearing a lot of crappy press about it I've been hearing about um, the creators um, not updating the game um, putting in um, EA levels of microtransactions and constant hacking and so far because of this there's been a massive player drop and to be honest I'm not really into that um, it's a shame because this game started out as just a run-of-the-mill indie game and it was pretty cool it was like the biggest indie game out there and it was on early access for the longest time and then it then it started to, and then it, they just started releasing the game. But the game doesn't look like a full, a fully made game. It just seems pretty early access looking, and that's kind of a shame. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the reason why I'm not playing PUBG and Fortnite. Um, you might find this childish, but the reason why I don't play Fortnite is because I don't like how the way it looks. The game looks fun, though. Um... I have to give Epic Games, um, I have to t uh, tip my hat to them because keep in mind that um, their game Fortnite was kind of a crafting and zombie survival game where you craft uh, craft bases and traps and try to uh, and try to survive the waves of zombies and they put like classes and all those cool stuff and to, uh, to be honest it's a pretty creative game. I'm not gonna lie, it is uh, pretty creative and... I really think um, we haven't really seen a game like that for a while. Besides uh, Seven Days to Die or whatever it's called again, I, I I don't really. It was a early access game on Steam called Seven Seven Nights or whatever it's called. But so far they kind of made their own kind of game, but it would didn't really sell as well, and people didn't really get into it. So they decided to take their take uh, a game, just make a battle royale mode, and make it free, and. That is great. I'm not gonna lie, that is actually very cool that they actually did something like that. And because of this, um, I like that kind of innovation in, in the game industry, where when they realize something's not really working out, and they, want it, and they try to adapt their engine to something else and make it work. And to be honest, PUBG, no, not PUBG, I should say Fortnite, Fortnite did something good with their uh, battle royale they made their battle royale free to play um cosmetics uh cosmetics are i i think cosmetic uh, like cosmetics you could pay for in-game money or you could also uh, buy it uh, or you could buy it for real uh, with uh, microtransactions i don't really know i didn't really do much research on it but so far um it's wild it's goofy and there's a lot of freedom and the crafting mechanic is still there in in the um, Let's go get in battle royale mode. So there's a bunch of people always like at the end of the game building towers to out tower themselves just to get you know, so they could just you know 
out snipe out snipe people and it's and it's pretty funny i i actually watch videos of it and it's pretty entertaining to watch but the thing is that the reason why i don't play that game is because i don't really like like how it looks it seems a little bit too cartoonish for me and there's no um, first person mode and that kind of turns me off a bit keep in mind that the game is nice and colorful and i'm really into nice and colorful games i'm always a sucker for those and so far i feel that um if i do play it i think i'm just going to enjoy it for a while then get bored and keep in mind even though that the crafting mechanic is pretty unique for in the battle royale uh, game industry uh, i mean genre not industry i mean genre um even though that it seems pretty um creative um, I kind of do have a bit of a problem with it. It just came. It just seems kind of uh, wonky to me, and not really my cup of tea. And yeah, that's kind of the reason why I don't really play that game. Uh, I don't really play that game. And to be and to be honest, I know it may just sound childish, being like, "Oh, NR, you're not gonna play it because you don't like you don't know how it looks." Yeah, because to be honest, um, playing a game is also how it how it appeals to you. That's visually, gameplay, and so on and so forth. But at the same time, the reason why I don't really play those games is because, you know, I want to play games I want to play. And that's important for me. Even though that people are telling me it will increase your channel numbers, so be it. I like to play my uh, how I want to play. But the uh, other thing I would want to announce for you guys is that I'm start I just started a, sw a Twitch account and I'll be streaming... Um, Rainbow Six Siege and Street Fighter V rank matches. So if you guys are interested in watching me play Street Fighter V uh, rank matches or or Rainbow Six Siege or me just playing um, a dungeon crawler, please um, nah, please uh, check uh, check the link down below and you'll see my um, Twitch channel. I will be setting a schedule. Uh, I'll be setting a schedule. You could find that schedule on my Twitter page and so on and so forth. So far you guys have been great, I'm happy to have you guys as audience, and all I just have to say is that you do what you want to do, don't follow other people's rhythm, if you want to play a game, if you want to play a game you like to play and post on YouTube, you do that. Even though that it might take you a while to get um, people watch, uh, watching you, it, trust me, it'll, if, if you do this, you're going to have way more, more fun and you'll feel way more relax and feel way more in the natural in front of the camera and also in front of the microphone and because of this you're able to increase your youtube personality and people will, uh, people will find you generally fun and sincere while watching you so you do what you want to do and you stick to it this is nr signing out